Only 18% of Australian farming families have a succession plan in place and really it should be 100%. So there are some really important questions around why this is the case. And one of the biggest parts of succession planning, one of the biggest challenges that families face is communication. And at underlying everything to do with succession planning is communication between family members, communication between people you engage to assist you with succession planning, and communication with your lawyers and your accountants so that there are some common key messages that we are all working towards to achieve a family succession plan. Succession planning is a process. It's not a one-off meeting. It's not about transactioning the family farm to inexperienced members of the family that want to take over and run the business. It is about improving communication and business processes amongst those people involved in the family to have a plan for the future. So you're growing together as a family, transitioning your business and your assets from as you are now at this point in time to where you want it to be in the future. Yes. Mums and dads need to establish what their goals are for their future years, whether that is retirement, whether you're a younger couple still working on the farm and want to continue to do that for 20 years down the track. We need to, mums and dads need to drive this process. You need to stand up and you need to say, let's improve the communication of our family members and let's all work towards a common goal with regard to our most important asset and most important business. A tip that we like to give our clients is that it's never too early to start this process. It can be too late. You can leave it too late where assets need to be sold off to settle family estates if, if a family member has died. Um, and there is dispute amongst family members about the best um, disbursement of that asset or, or value. Um, so you need to start as early as you can so that you are given the most amount of options that you can over a long period of time. So this succession planning, we need to look at it as a process over a long period of time to get the best possible incomes. So looking at which of our family members want to come back to the farm? Which of our family members want to actively manage the business? Which of, the, which of our family members want to own an asset? Perhaps they want to own part of the asset but don't want to work in the business. So there's a whole range of different options which are going to be specific for each different family because every family is unique and every family has different working relationships. So if you give yourself the greatest amount of time to find solutions, then you will find your there is less pressure, there is less animosity, there is less angst among family members, um, and you give yourself the most amount of options. Just because you're starting the process early doesn't mean that what we discuss and what we document doesn't can't change. Succession plans can be reviewed every 12 months, every two years to make sure that they're relevant and current and that everybody is happy. So one of my things with succession planning is also about improving farm business processes. So let's establish who is in the business, what their roles are. Um, let's document some position descriptions for people. Let's work out whether our farm is viable. Is there is there a business that will um, continue to be profitable going into the future at this point in time. And we then have to look at where we want the business to be and how we get from now to how we get, how we get to the future. About transition, it's not about transaction necessarily. There's a whole range of, th of ways in which we can help a family grow and develop uh, a plan for the future of their business as opposed to their asset. So we, one of the things that we can do is treat the business separately from the asset. Put yourselves in the shoes of the younger generation. Every generation, there's been research done where every generation has different characteristics and how they work in different environments. So younger millennial generation um, people working in the business like teamwork. They like to be collaborated and they like collaborative and they like to be involved in the decision making process. Whereas people in older generations perhaps don't work like that. They work more independent equal. And one of the golden rules in succession planning is that equal is not always equitable and nor is it always fair. 
we have a we like to think that when we have a completed succession plan sitting around the table that nobody is really a hundred percent happy with it because the succession planning process is all about compromise so equal so we have different ways in which we can value the business and the farming asset and a good a good idea for